But something else we'll talk about is the difference between absolute humidity and relative humidity. Because uh, while they're both somewhat an expression of the amount of moisture in the air, they mean different things. So absolute humidity is the actual amount of moisture in the air and it's expressed in grains. Relative humidity is how much moisture is in the air given the amount of moisture that that air can actually hold. So for instance, if it's 80 degrees and you have 80 grains, 80 grains of moisture, that might be 50% RH. If it's 80 degrees and you have 40 grains of moisture, that might be 25% RH. Now I'm simplifying a little bit there, but I think those numbers are, are, are pretty close. So as you can see, we've removed the amount of moisture in the air, so we've changed the RH. That's one way that the two relate to each other. With relative humidity, you could change temperature and then thus change the relative humidity. So as temperature rises, relative humidity falls, and as temperature falls, relative humidity rises. We've talked about relative humidity and absolute humidity. Now we're gonna talk about relative humidity and dew point. If you ever watch the weather channel or look at the weather on your phone, you can see that sometimes you'll see both of those numbers, both the RH and the dew point. And while they're similar, they do mean very different things. The dew point is the temperature at which the air needs to be cooled for it to become fully saturated and condensate. So that's why you see that dew in the morning. That's when your temperature is equal to your humidity. In other words, it's when the relative humidity is 100%. 100% relative humidity, that's gonna condensate and you're gonna see that moisture. Relative humidity is the amount of water in the air expressed as a percent of what it can hold. So when it hits 100, you've reached the dew point. When it's below that, then you have a relative humidity, you have a measurement of how humid that air is. And cold air holds less water than hot air? Yes. Is that right? Yes. Okay. As air is heated, the RH goes down. As air is cooled, the RH goes up. In southern climates, it makes a lot of sense to dehumidify. We know that we have too much moisture in the air. It feels uncomfortable, so when we bring that air in, we want to lower that absolute humidity by pulling grains of moisture out of the air and thus lowering that RH. So we've maintained temperature, but we've got a more comfortable, cool feeling environment because we've brought that RH down. Something similar happens in the north, particularly in very cold climates. Relative humidity still might be high. It still might be the 60s or 70s outside, uh, maybe up to the 80s, just like you would sometimes find in warmer climates in the summer. However, the air temperature is very cold. So what we're doing is we're heating the air in our house. Now, when outdoor air comes in at a high humidity and then we heat it, what we've actually done is we've allowed that air to hold more moisture. But if we don't add any more moisture, that relative humidity has gone down because the percent of moisture in that air has gone down. That's why sometimes in the north we add humidity to the air because we've dried it out as we've heated it up. We've allowed that air to hold more water. If we don't add more water, more grains, if we don't raise the relative humidity, we'll have problems with dryness in the home. So if the air outside in Madison, Wisconsin is 80% relative humidity and 20 degrees, whenever you turn on your heater inside your house, you've, you've raised that 20 degree temperature to 70 degrees the relative humidity actually dropped considerably because that, that warm air could hold more moisture. So it's still got the same amount of moisture in the air, but the percentage has changed because the box got bigger, Exactly. basically. So for instance, if it's 70% RH and 20 degrees outside and you bring that air inside and heat it up, let's imagine that air was in, was in a balloon. So outside, the moisture content in there is almost completely filled the balloon. When that's heated up inside, that balloon is going to expand and it's gonna get larger, but the amount of moisture in there is not going to change. So now the moisture is a much smaller percent of the air. That's why you now have a much lower RH. Even though you, you haven't changed the amount of moisture in the air, but you've drastically changed how much moisture that air can hold. And now you have dry conditions in the home. And now you have to add humidity. Now, now is when we would recommend that you add, add humidity, add grains of moisture to the air in order to bring that RH back up again. Okay.